Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Got a couple of uh, flight control boards here to show you today. Now, they both look pretty much identical unless you uh, really have a close look. They're from uh, Hack RC. This one here on uh, my left, which will probably be your right, <laughs> is the F3 board and this one on this side is the F4 board. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is I often get asked right, by new pilots what's the difference between F3, F4 and these F7 boards and stuff like that. Well the bottom line is it's more stuff they can do and it's as simple as that, more stuff they can do. However in certain situations that does become you have little issues. Now these are just the 2020 stacks. Right now, if you're having a three inch build, I'll just move this one out the road for a second. Right, if you're using a three inch build, right, with a 2020 stack, I'd recommend sorry, out of focus, I'd recommend going for the F3 Omnibus F3 board. Like I say, they're made from uh, Hack RC. I'll leave links in the description to everything. Okay. Uh, sorry if that keeps going out of shot, I've got the camera zoomed right in so you can get a close look at everything. Yeah, the reason why I'd recommend using an F3 board, right? Now, this is for new pilots, I'm going to keep it really simple. The F3 doesn't seem to give out any noise. Now, when I say noise, what I'm talking about is when you're looking through your goggles, static and things like that, that's basically noise coming from all your electrics and the F3 board doesn't give out any noise. Now if you compare it to an F4 board, right, that will give out noise. So it's recommended you use something like a little capacitor, right, to help reduce the noise or even stop the noise completely. However, these are designed for small little quads and this 25 volt capacitor in ideal for it, ideally you want to be using a big bugger like that, a big 35 volt capacitor, if you can get it in your model somewhere. If you can't, use a small one because anything is better than nothing. Right, let's just zoom out a little bit here, wrong way, just so I can uh, explain a couple of the side by side differences. This is a new one by the way, and if you think that looks a bit tatty, that's because that's the old one. Right, and I'll explain why I've changed. Now, the main difference is, let's see, let's just take you through the F3 board really quick. Right? Beta flight, OSD comes with it, sorted. On this side, you plug in your receiver, this side, a buzzer. Right? At the back here, or actually, yeah, at the back here, right, you've got a little JST, Right, connector here, which you'd connect up to your ESC 4-in-1. On the front is where you'd connect up for your camera, your VTX, and, uh, well, that's it really, your camera and your VTX. I'm sure there's something else, camera, VTX, no, that's it. Yeah, your camera and your VTX. And there's two little soldering pads, TX1, RX1, and uh, that's it. That's as much as this board will do, basically. It won't do anything else. And that's the F3, right? which is a basic board. However, like I say, it's very good with noise. And I've explained noise, so I'm not going to go through that again. All right. Now, if we move on to the F4 board, whoops, if we get it in shot, once again, right, you've got uh, your S-Bus connector, Right, which this will also run off iBus. You've got your buzzer, but also LEDs. Right, obviously you connect this stuff up yourself. It don't come with all them things. Right. Oh, it's compatible with oh, what's it called nowadays? Um, a barometer. It has a barometer. Right, so you can set it up with iNav. So you could put this in a plane. Whereas that one you couldn't. But you could put this in a plane because it has a barometer and I nav. You could use the barometer in a quad, but more than likely you're going to use it in a plane. 
Uh, on the opposite side, well, the, this part here is exactly the same. I'm, I'm sort of jumping a bit in my words because I'm trying to keep the words sort of like clear and simple for new pilots. All right. This part here, exactly the same as the last one. All right. It's where you'd connect up your uh, ESCs, your foreign one ESCs, and it, you'd use something like this, a little silicon wire. All right. But where this board differs from the first one, if I turn it over, all right, hopefully you can see there, if I, will it go into focus? Come on, go out a little bit. Yeah, you can see a, a little uh, built-in pin port. All right, so if you're using an ESC board, compatible ESC board, where, so preferably another hack RC, uh, you can plug that straight into the 4-in-1 ESC, so you're not using any cables at all. Also with this uh, F4 flight control board, you have a whole stack of options. You have your TX and your RX, exactly the same as the F3. But you've got extra little soldering pads on the back to connect up, uh, well, extra functions it will it's got your r s s i function which is uh, basically tells you how far away your quad is a little signal you get on your on-screen display you can set up smart audio if you want i use it on some quads and then some others i don't it's running there mp6000 down there Probably just pointed to the wrong one, but I'm going through this quick. And well, that's it basically. So that, that's your difference between an F3 and an F4. They'll both do the same job. Sorry, I'll shot again. Let's get this in the center. Make me happier. There you go. Yeah, they'll both do the same job, all right? But the F4 has more functions. Eh? Like I said, not only as does it come with beta flight, you can also set up iNav, all right, which, like I said, for planes and things like that. All right, well, you can't do that on this F3. However, like I said, the downside is really with the F4 board, just like your big boards, you want to be using some type of a capacitor to help reduce noise. Whereas with this little F3 board, you don't need a capacitor. It doesn't produce any noise, which is bloody good. Okay then, pilots and ground crew, I've just tried to go over this quick and simple. Uh, which is the best, depending on what you want to do. I've been using this F3 board now for a while, and I love it. It's a really, really good board. It's not getting thrown away. It's getting put in another 3-inch quad. All right? But my main 3-inch quad, I'm putting the F4 board in it which I'll be connecting up a capacitor, as we just said. Now, the reason why I'm putting this one in my main 3-inch quad, right, my uh, little Skyzone S140, is because of the extra functions. I want to connect up smart audio. I want to have the RSSI signal indicator. Right? And that's why I'm swapping it out for the F4. But while I was at it, I just thought I'd try and uh, talk you through briefly and uh, as simple as I could. If it's if I've said anything too complicated or weird or out like that, just leave a comment. But it's pretty straightforward, really. So, yeah. So, a really quick run through. You get more stuff on the F4. You get less stuff on the F3 but you don't get any noise. So if you just want something simple, you just want your receiver plugged in, all right, and a buzzer, you're sorted. If you want a receiver, a buzzer and LEDs, and your RSSI, and your smart audio, and this and that, then go for the F4, which obviously is slightly more expensive, all right? You will probably not notice any difference in flight, there again, people are going to say, oh, the F4 flies a lot better than the F3. As long as you've got the latest firmware on it from Betaflight, 
right? Or if you're using the F4 and you're going over to I and the same thing applies. I don't think you'll see a lot of difference, all right? But it all depends what you want. So that's the difference between the F3 and the F4s. That's what it means. Basically, it's got more stuff. <laughs> Okay then pilots and ground crew, I hope this helps and as I used to say and I haven't said for a long time, if this just helps one person, I'm happy. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching, I've got a build to do now, so uh, catch you next time and cheers.